Hey guys, welcome back to Ask, and today we have a special guest, the CEO <laughs> and founder of Brands for Less, and a TikTok sensation, and he saves us a lot of money. Yeah. To Mr. <laughs> Tufi Kredi. I love you. Thank you so much for coming Thank today. Thank you, Habibi, for coming. Thank you. To my right, we have Karim Taraje, and Hi. to my left, we have Ghazi Yemen. You know him, you love them. For the first question, we're going in direct. Who is Mr. Tufi Kredi? Very simple. A dreamer who believes in himself. A dreamer who believes in himself? Tab, who's the CEO? Tufi Kredi, the dreamer who believes in himself. But in a, from a CEO position, when you're in a CEO position, it's more within uh, targets that are set with uh, budgets that are set on a yearly basis, a little bit more organized dreamer, and uh, also he believes in himself. How did TikTok change your life? I've been seeing you blowing up on TikTok like crazy. Yes, it's, uh, it's, it's really consuming a lot of my time, to be very frank with you, uh, because I really love the content and I love the interaction of the people. And, uh, you know, I, I really rediscovered something that, uh, 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 that really was there inside me and really came out to the surface, uh, the love that I have to the people. Will you say that TikTok helped you express yourself on social media, like it, your personality? It, it changed my life in a very positive manner. Uh, I was able to really connect to the Gen Zs. I was really uh, able to connect to the young people. And I was able to describe and explain to them exactly what our business is. Um, what's the process of doing like TikToks? You're a biz CEO, you own like a lot of companies, and at the same time, you're TikTok famous, viral, blowing up, and Gen Z's everywhere. How do you do it? It's very simple. You have to combine between the two. You know, it's not only about, you know, trying to give advice, which is a very important part also, to give advice to the Gen Z's and give them hope. Uh, at the same time, you have to really uh, get the message uh, uh, out uh, to them in a fun manner. Let's track back, Shway. How did you start your journey? It was uh, full of challenges, uh, full of bumps, but you know, we were really believed in what we are doing. We really uh, were able to engineer this type of business and introduce it to the Middle East for the first time, which is the off-price business. And, uh, you know, it uh, takes two to tango. And I had my best friend, uh, he, he is my partner. And uh, we went to school together, we went to university together. And we started with $10,000 only. We had no capital to start with. And we started in an underground in a car park in Beirut. We call it garage there. And uh, uh, the only capital we had was $10,000 and uh, everything that we made we put back into the business and in year 2000 four years after the first operation in beirut we started the dubai branch also with a personal loan and you know it's all about hard work it's all about perseverance it's all about reinvesting everything that you make from from your business back into the business and what parts of this would you keep what parts would you change and why to be very frank with you, today, what part I would keep, what part I would change, there is nothing that I regret that any step that I have taken that I regret today, there is nothing I will change. If I go back, I will do exactly the same things that I have done. And what are the things that you learned throughout the journey? You learn that failure is part of success. And it's not only part of success, it's the reason for your success. And uh, from your very beginning right. up until now, right. you've experienced a lot of things, you've obviously faced uh, a lot of obstacles, which led you to where you are now, but uh, up until this point, what are the three things that you value the most? Health, family and business ethics. After uh, your 26 years of experience and scaling your business and uh, everything you've done with the business, what are the things that have lost value? To be frank with you, in general, if you are a grateful person, you will never lose value. Uh, and that's what makes you a happy person, is reminding yourself what valuable things God has given you, and it makes you stay at the level of happiness and keeps your happiness going higher and higher. Now, 
what you lose are the negative things. You lose fear. You lose instability. You lose insecurity, which is a great loss, by the way. <laughs> right now, what will you tell Hala, your mature self as Mr. Tawfiq Radiyya to your teen self, teenage self? I will congratulate myself being the person who believed in me today. You believed in you before anyone else believing in you? Looks like it. Do you believe you have a child's soul? Of course. Ah, like you cannot imagine. More than you even. <laughs> <laughs> and who was, who was that mentor on throughout your journey? You know, my mentor is my partner, my soulmate, my best friend. And, uh, you know, he will remain my mentor for the end of my life. That's very beautiful. I've, that's amazing how you, you mixed business with friendship and it, you know, worked. It's became yes. this huge yes. empire. Yeah. Now, what would you advise uh, upcoming entrepreneurs or businessmen and how they can choose uh, their partner? Because sometimes they say don't mix friendship with business or family with business. There's like, you know, unbro there's broken rules sometimes. I will tell you something. Uh, not mix. Uh, uh, friendship with business in general if you look at it it's it's true mm. and most most of people have suffered from mixing between friendship and uh, business uh, it was not the case for me at all and uh, you know uh, what you have to do is you have to make sure that your partner has the same values of you, uh, that you have or he carries the same values that you carry yourself and once you have these values in common uh, try to make sure that you complement each other and you are not exactly the same character. So the, the, the relationship between me and my partner is that he is extremely wise and I'm an extremely a fire person. So we always come to the happy middle that makes us take a very reasonable progress that we keep on going. He is the guy responsible for the precision, and I'm the cannonball. And you keep on shooting and hitting. So what are the three skills that you developed that helped you reach to where you are now? Patience, perseverance, and love for all. Love for all? Yes. And perseverance. And when you mean by patience, can you uh, expand more? Patience, I don't like this fast way of making money. I'm a person who believes in a concrete, long way, hard way, slowly but surely, mm. I think this is much more safe. Mm. I'm not a person who likes to go and gamble and try to triple the money over one deal. Mm. This is not the way. So what do you think about like the crypto space? No, uh, no, no offense to anyone who believes in this. Uh, it is a fast way, it is an easy way. Uh, some people are lucky, some people are unlucky. I'd rather, personally, which I, I still respect all other opinions, mm. again, I say it because I always get always this question mark about, you know, what do you mean, and I don't know what, and the crypto. I know there are lots of supporters for crypto. I invest a little bit in crypto, yes. okay? Uh, but to tell you uh, uh, the truth, uh, to take this as my source of income, my only source of income, I'm not that type of a character. Can we see Brands for Less accept crypto as a payment? Yes, we are already preparing for it. It's very right. soon coming, yes. Um, so if you weren't Mr. Kredi, who would you want to be and why? No one. No one else? No one else. So this is the career path that you've always wanted to go in? And yeah, because I tell you something, it's only you, you can measure your level of happiness. And mm. the level of happiness that I have, I'm so happy with it, whereby I will not trade it for anything that's unknown to me. So if you would write a book, what would it be called? My Happy Beautiful Journey. When is it coming out? <laughs> <laughs> Move quick here, cannonball. <laughs> so, like, uh, I've been following your TikTok since you started in January, and now we've been together for an hour, and you have explosive positive energy. How do you stay positive during turbulent times or tough times? First of all, uh, even during turbulence times, it increases your adrenaline. Mm. 
So you're always active, you're always overactive, you're always, you know, uh, hyperactive. And at the same time, when you get rid of the problem or you resolve the problem, also you're happy. Yeah. You know, this positiveness should be, it's in your brain. It's a choice. I believe it's a choice. Okay. This is my belief. To remain positive is a choice. And I feel like with that mindset, you can conquer anything. So, going back to TikTok, yeah. what is the process of you filming your TikToks? Trust me, we do not prepare anything in advance. Nothing? Nothing. On we just decide to meet in a certain place at a certain time. We go with zero preparation. Zero preparation. And everything comes natural. And what's, what's your plans for the next uh, five years? More and more TikToks. Oh. So, oh, before, yeah, yeah. Mr. Tofi, what do you do for a living? I sell socks and underwear, man. <laughs> <laughs> Good quality underwear, صراحة. Good quality, you know, you tried. Yeah, I actually I really like the underwear. Yeah, well, I'm, really I'm wearing one right now. It's very comfortable. Well, where could they find it? Brands for less guys, best underwear Anywhere out there. Near you. <laughs> Online? <laughs> Other than TikTok in the next five years, what are your plans for that? No, we have, we have big expansion plan. Uh, now, today, we're focusing mainly on Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. Saudi Arabia is, today, by the way, we have the third uh, store opening. Congratulations. We opened, yeah, we opened two stores beginning of this month. Third one is uh, today. Uh, it Perfect. opened actually at 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Saudi Arabia is, is going to be a big uh, 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 field for us in terms of... Uh, mushrooming our retail stores all across uh, the country. Yeah. In addition to that, of course, Qatar, Kuwait, uh, Oman. We already started all of, this, uh, all of these stores in these countries. And, uh, you know, next, uh, once we really cement this area, we're heading towards Eastern Europe. No, I have a specific business question. And, uh, like, excuse my ignorance on it. So you're expanding more on, on retail, but the e-commerce footprint, is, uh, it always outpaced retail. So is your sole focus on retail or e-commerce or both together? You have to go uh, both, together, both together, you know. And when your brick and mortar and your online platform, when they start dancing, they tango like an amazing show come out because today, First of all, the existence of the brick and mortar gives more confidence towards the people who are going online and buying the product. Mm. And they know that this product is 100% genuine. They know that what they're going to get. They know that they can return it at any store. They can refund their money at any store. They can exchange it from anywhere. And everything now is connected through a digital wallet, mm. whereby online and brick and mortar you know, can exchange items and credit and, and, and. So it's more of building trust. I always wondered, you guys have a lot of merchandise. The merchandise that you guys don't sell, what do you do with it? We do not have something called does not sell. Everything sells for a certain price. Everything. Everything. Our, our software goes into slashing prices in the stores every 15 days and the software is programmed to keep on slashing until the item reaches one dollar. Very nice. And what's that mental toughness that you built? How did you build it? It was not uh, designed, it was lived. My circumstances, financial circumstances, pushed me towards this uh, uh, creating this guy who is full of perseverance mm. and patience and, and, and I guess this would bring us to the last question uh, as an industry leader what is your advice for the upcoming generation of entrepreneurs and investors uh, I, I would really advise each and every young person to really have his own dream his own path and always look employment could be part of your journey but don't make it to be your end goal. Yes. You know, even if you have to go through employment, go through employment. I went through employment. My partner went through employment. And this is natural. And this is normal. We will learn. We will uh, uh, pick up some skills. That's true. Experience. That's true. 
But at the end of the day, try to limit the spirit as much as possible and move to the next step whereby you'll be working for yourself. <clears throat> so as a person that you're always positive, always smiling, when was the last time you cried? The last time I really cried uh, when I saw uh, the port explosion in Beirut. On lighter thing, let's share the uh, gift yeah, with you. Yeah, sure. It's custom made. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? I have no clue. Anything. I have no clue whatsoever. <laughs> custom made NFT. Ah, really? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I own this. Yeah. yeah. This is mine. We can, we can transfer it. We it's can my ownership. On no NFT. No one could do any, no one Are could get sure? it. No sure. one could buy it. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for watching till the end. If you want to see more exciting people and industry leaders, comment down below who you want to see uh, because I'll ask them what do they really do for a living. Thank you and peace out. Bye.